Well, depending on how ambitious you are, your pool might already be open. And if it's not, I'm sure it's happening soon. So joining us with some pool and beach essentials to have on hand this summer is a lifestyle expert, Limor Saz. Hi, Limor. We've missed you. I know. I've missed you guys, too. Yes. Yeah, so uh, we have a community pool, so we go there all the time. And we also have uh, a beach that's somewhat close to us as well. So uh, if you are heading to the pool and beach this weekend or maybe... Uh, you know, in, in the next few weekends, I have some stuff you can stock up on. All right, let's do it. Let's get to it. Yeah, let's get to it. Okay, so the first thing that we have is a beach cart. So whether you're going to the beach or the pool, this is great. So I know that my community pool last year actually uh, didn't have um, chairs. So you had to bring your own chair. So even though it was only like a 15 minute, you know, like a 10 minute walk or something, you had to carry everything with you. Right. So this is the beach cart and I'm going to just walk away so you can see it. So basically it's great for the, uh, the pool or the beach. Uh, you can actually, it comes with a cooler so you can, um, I have images of it for you guys, but it, it comes with a cooler that actually snaps onto the, to the, to the, uh, cart. And then it actually has wheels that are good for sand that you can just pull onto the sand. You can fill up an umbrella in there. You can put chairs on there. You can put your kids in there. I don't know. I don't know if kids are really allowed in there, but you can put anything in there. Um, and it really is just great to kind of like, um, if you're like me, you're probably carrying literally everything uh, to the beach or the pool. And so this is a great way to kind of uh, make sure that your shoulders are not killing you by the end of the day. And you're just rolling it around like a uh, with a cart. So it really is a great buy i got it at bed bath and beyond um and they have a few different options they have one like this is just a regular cart they also have one that turn into a beach chair which is uh you know also great as well oh nice oh, that's awesome and you need some new bathing suits and towels yes okay so bathing suits and towels obviously i like to actually stock up on every year but bathing suits are ridiculously expensive. I don't know. It always drives me crazy. And so, um, and especially my kids in the summer, besides the pool and the beach, they go to camp and they go, you know, they need two bathing suits a day. So it adds up really quickly. So JCPenney actually has so many great options. Uh, they have uh, for the whole family. So they have kids, they have men's, they have women's uh, at really affordable prices. So uh, you can see one of the towels I actually put over here. I have some images that are coming up on the screen as well. But this towel I just placed over here, it's so cute. Um, they have, this is like a little toucan, uh, really, really great options. And then for a bathing suit, uh, you're going to be able to see them as well. But I have, um, they have this like really cute stripe uh, star one for uh, Memorial Day weekend or the 4th of July. Um, and they have like the rash guards, which is great for the kids so that they don't burn. It has UV in it, um, UV protection in it. Um, and you can just get that at JCPenney stores or you can get it at JCPenney online. Rash guard was the number one most important purchase I ever got. And it has served me so well. Right. It's good for moms. I know. Because you just feel a little bit more confident. If you're running around, you can throw your rash guard on. And yeah, it's awesome. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. So now we're talking about, um, this is specifically to the beach, but you know, you can take it to the pool if you want. This is a mesh bag. And last summer when I was at the beach, I saw a woman carrying it. I literally stopped her. She was like with two kids and I didn't care. I just stopped her and I was like, where did you get that bag? She just got it on Amazon and it's $7 for one. And I think like $10 for two and it's life changing again. So it's just this like mesh bag and you have all of your beach essentials inside. Um, and what's nice is that it's mesh. So if it's sandy, as you're walking away from the beach, it gets like all the sand starts like coming off of it. Um, it's also great because then if you wanted to, you could take a hose at the end of the day and just hose it all down. Even within the bag, you just lay it out to dry and it's just the easiest, best thing you'll take to the beach for like less than $10. That's so, awesome. Highly recommend. Okay. That's yeah, that's awesome. perfect. <laughs> and you have something else? So I have some hacks for you. Yeah. Go ahead, Lima. No, I have some hacks for you guys. So um, if you're going to the beach and your hands are all sandy, one of the things that I like to do is take baby powder, which seems crazy, right? But if your hands are all sandy, you just put some baby powder in your hands and the baby powder um, will wipe all that sand away. So obviously not wet sand, but once you're, uh, you know, if you, as you're playing with the sand and you have a lot of the dry sand kind of like all over you, just put on some baby powder and you... Uh, and it'll take it right off. So you can have it really, you can put it in your car if you want right before you kind of get back into the car, or you can just have it in your beach bag to kind of put on, you know, as you guys are about to eat snacks or whatever it is. It's a, it's a, it's kind of the same concept when if, uh, if you go to like, um, 
you know, like a men's hair haircut and they do the, they have the shavings in the back of their head and they put that like talcum powder. Yeah. It's the same concept where it just kind of like dries it and then pushes it out of the way. That's awesome. Yep. All right, cool. All right. And we need and to have some more little hacks to keep everything from just getting gross in the bag, right? Yes. Okay. So one of the things that I like to do, especially when I go to the beach is take like just a, a Ziploc bag, but get one of the ones that are like the storage or the freezer ones, the ones that are, have like a thicker, um, you know, like plastic material. And this, I just have my phone in there and the phone will still, I don't know if you're able to see, will still work, um, you know, in on through the Ziploc, but um, it won't get all sandy. And then you can also do the same thing by putting your keys in a Ziploc, making sure that again, because what happens is, is like, whether you want it or not, it's going to get sandy and gross. So, um, you know, that it really, I feel like Ziplocs are like a godsend when it comes to the, uh, to going to the beach. And I also like to bring one of those extra large ones, like the two gallon ones. Um, the, I like to take those because then I take the bathing suits that are wet and put the, all the clothes right in there at the end of the day. Um, and then not everything in the bag needs to get wet and sandy. It's just, it, it kind of gets uh, consolidates the the mess into this like one big uh, Ziploc bag. And that actually is great for the beach or the pool um, because it, again, it contains the wetness of, uh, of the wet bathing suits when you're, before you're heading home. All right, cool. Very cool. And you want yeah. to- And then, yeah, last time, last one is, I think we've talked about this a million times. For the cooler, take a water bottle, just put it in the freezer the night before, and then uh, just put it into the cooler bag. And so the, the water bottle- freezes over so it acts like an ice pack but then it defrosts throughout the day and then you get to drink nice super cold water if you're not using one of those like swell bottles or something like that to keep the water already you know kind of cold yeah. uh it's a great way to kind of just use regular water bottles that you might have and just throw them right in the freezer it's a twofer it's a twofer it's a twofer <laughs> okay All right, well, thank you lee moore thanks lee moore good to thanks see so you bye hide. guys you can follow Lee Moore and see more of her hacks and all the things she loves at leemorloves.com.